So I think perhaps the saint that most most inspired me has most inspired me in my life is Saint Ignatius of Loyola. So Loyola is a town in the northeast of Spain, and I spent seven years in the college in Spain in my seminary career. But it was only when I came home um, to uh, to Scotland to start work as a priest that I actually learned about Saint Ignatius of Loyola because I did what's called the spiritual exercises of Saint Ignatius. And in in the 34 years that I've been a priest, I've done uh, the spiritual exercises of St. Ignatius in uh, an eight-day setting. I've done them in a 30-day retreat setting. And I've also done them in what's called the spiritual exercises in daily life. And basically, St. Ignatius is inspiring me and you to, to find God in the ordinary circumstances of life. Yes, we need to... Um, you know, take time away from the busyness of life to say our, our individual prayers each day. But St Ignatius invites you and me to open our eyes as we're going about our family life, as we're going about our work life, as we're going about our social life, to say that that word that that person said to me today, that circumstance uh, that I've been involved in today, St Ignatius would say, God is in every moment of of our day, and Saint Ignatius invites us, invites you and me, therefore, to to raise our daily lives up uh, to God, that we might have a sense of where uh, God is. So, so, I would say Saint Ignatius of Loyola um, very much uh, is one of the principal uh, influences, saintly influences of my life. Another of the uh, great influences of my life, uh, you'll not be surprised, is Mother Teresa of Calcutta. Um, yes, because she would have been one of the motivations to for me, to, you know, to go and work on the foreign missions, um, because that's obviously where she worked. That's obviously how she transformed her life by going and living on um, in com- communities in Calcutta and then all over the world. But one of the things that most inspired. Uh, has most inspired me about uh, Mother Teresa of Calcutta, Saint Mother Teresa of Calcutta, is happened in a book that was brought out 10 years after she died. So she died in 1997. The book came out in 2007, and it was a a, a reflection on the biographies or, or diaries of her life. And for a long period of her life, and by a long period of life, it seems like it was 30 years and more, she wasn't sure if God was listening. that And, and I, I suppose the most astonishing thing for the, for the community that, that prayed with her, that shared her faith with her, that they were unaware of this. But, you know, these, these comments are in her diaries that Mother Teresa was unsure if, you know, if God was ever going to, uh, if God was hearing I mean, then there was great periods of consolation as well, but it's that moment of desolation that gives me and gives you can give you a, an inspiration as well. That you know, sometimes in our prayer, it's not all it's not all uh, glowing lights from heaven. Sometimes we're in our prayers we're kind of battling through the the fears and anxieties of daily life, and Mother Teresa gives us an inspiration to go out and do something about reaching out to the poor. But she also uh, gives me and you an inspiration about how to pray, how to pray through the doubts and the fears that, yes, we might have doubts and fears and even doubts and fears whether God's, if God is listening, but actually through those uh, to come to the moment of peace when we realise God is actually there. God is actually listening to us.